And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review... How to Train Your Dragon. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! Look out! Spoilers! There's this place filled with Vikings, and they all have Viking accents! It's like Braveheart, only not directed by a sadist. And there are these children in the Viking land, who for some reason don't have an accent? That's kind of weird. Is that like in Beauty and the Beast where nobody has a French accent except the candlestick? Maybe that's because he was flaming. So anyway, this Viking land is attacked by dragons! And the Viking's job is to chase the dragons! I chased dragons once! Oh no, it's not what you think. I'm talking about drugs! But this one boy doesn't want to kill dragons, he wants to befriend them! And the boy's name is Hiccup! Hmm, that's a weird name. It's like naming a kid Cough, or Kazuntite, or Chester! So Chester actually ends up catching a dragon, and he befriends him! And the dragon is so cute! He looks like a kitty cat mixed with a fire-breathing demon. You know, like Lady Gaga! Toothless, even though he has teeth. But at first, it looks like he doesn't have teeth, and then he grows them out. So technically, his name should be Deceivingly Toothless. That was my cousin's name. And it turns out Hiccup figures out how to fly Toothless. And the flying scenes are so cool. It really feels like you're flying on the damn thing. But unfortunately, he's not a good flyer. Ah! Ow. But then they figure out why the dragons have been stealing food this whole time. They steal it so they can feed this great big dragon, which is a little strange. Why do they feed this one dragon and yet never feed themselves? How do they survive? Is the nature of dragons reduced down the school bullies at a playground? Give me your food. Or what? You'll get a nugget. Ah! Wait, can I just run away from you and never come back? Oh, I'll find you. You will? Probably not, but if I do, I'll give you a nugget. Yeah, okay. So Hiccup's father finds out that he's been training the dragons and he gets really mad and he's like, You're not my son. Well, technically, I sort of am. Well, metaphorically, you're not. No! So the father tries to kill the big bad dragon, but he's like, Whoa, I didn't know that dragon was that big or bad or dragon. But then Hiccup and the other kids come in to save the day and they're riding six little dragons. So six little dragons can destroy a great big one, but a pack of dragons can't. I'm so confused, but enthralled. So the big bad dragon is chasing after Toothless, but Toothless shoots an exploding fireball inside of him. And the big bad dragon kabooms. How does a little fireball make a dragon kaboom? Who cares? It's awesome. The only downside to all of this is that Hiccup loses his leg. I lost my leg once! I left it in Canada. So How to Train Your Dragon is a really good movie, especially the 3D. The 3D is awesome! But seriously, when are they gonna bring back Smell-O-Vision? Don't you wish you could smell me through the internet? This is jittery bum saying, Change! You got change! Oh, come on, Hippogaya, will ya? Come on, change! Well, can you at least pay